I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. BMW M340i. X Drive with launch control. That was a hard shift. Yeah, dude. It's quick. Horsepower and torque. 382 horsepower, 369 pound feet of torque from a turbo inline six cylinder with a 48 volt mild hybrid system. What else is this motor in? Basically everything, including the Supra. M240i. Yeah, they've thrown it in so many different cars. This is such a good engine. This is the B58, which the S58 is based on. Definitely watch our M4 CSL video. And this is a refreshed M340i, so the First thing I noticed, I'm like, why are the headlights upside down? Yeah, so it looks like all they did was just flip them and then put them on the outsides instead. And then they, uh, I think they call them the front and rear aprons, and they just made it look like black stuff, so it looks more like the electric models, I guess. Yeah, and then the grill, the thickness of the blackness around the grill, I believe has also been thickened up. Yeah, and then uh, inside, they got rid of the good BMW infotainment as they are doing with almost everything and made it this big screen, got rid of the one to eight uh, favorite buttons and all your hard climate controls, which I'm very upset over. Yeah, I totally agree. It looks impressive. It does function okay, but it's not as good as the previous one with hard buttons. Okay, so with all that intro stuff out of the way, what do you want to start off with? Cliche corner, Yuri. Send oh. it halfway through. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Remember we were drifting this with Timo Glock? Yeah. Timo Glock. The previous gen, which is, this is still basically the same gen because this is an LCI, which like is a life cycle impulse, AKA refresh. I think the last one was better. Okay, so driving dynamics wise, I still think this is the benchmark. However, we are missing one critical option, adaptive dampers for $1,000 that the person that spec this out did not spec. And I think that is a big miss because I find the suspension a touch too harsh. You can still daily it, but compared to the adaptive suspension of the previous generation, that is the one to get. Yeah, I mean, this does feel fine, but it might have been one of those things where if they spec'd it out with that suspension, it would have taken two months longer yeah, yeah, to the, get us the press unit to Canada. The computer chips and the valves and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Never yeah. know. But definitely, if you're buying one, option that. And the next thing that they updated, you're, you dial yourself into comfort for me, please. I push the comfort button. Okay, now hold the left paddle until you see sprint. Send it. Sprint traction? No. Sprint drive mode. So they added this thing which automatically downshifts you into the proper gear and then puts you into sport mode temporarily so that you're still in it right now. You're kind of in sport mode. Once sprint disappears, you go back into comfort, which is kind of cool. Hey, that's a cool mode. See? Yeah, so it's, it's, back pretty, it's pretty much like how normal sports cars, you hold down the left paddle it downshifts all the way and you floor it, except this needs to do more stuff because it's so computerized now. Yeah, but all those other cars wouldn't change the drive mode for you. So that's like the one yeah. extra thing that they did. But I guess a lot of those other ones were like already just have like a sick drive mode. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> has so much stuff in the way of being in a good drive <laughs> mode that it has to like make that a feature. Yes, and then uh, nothing was in your way when you changed your drive mode because you don't have a shifter selector anymore. I got used to this pretty quick, but uh, I, I, I like shifters. They're making everything electric future wise. So this is kind of like IX style. Everything in here is kind of going future electric style. They're getting you ready for it. And it's, I, I don't like seeing it and noticing it. It's like, we do have heated seats in here. We don't have cooled seats. You can't get cooled seats still, which is kind of a big miss. And then you can't actually press a physical button for heated or cooled seats because they put in the infotainment. And I think the reason why is that so they can make that a downloadable thing. Yeah, they're getting rid of all the hard buttons so you don't see blank buttons, so you don't know what you're actually missing and you're just like ready for everything to be the digital upgrade. Or yeah, whatever. like you're gonna see this button, it's like download to heat your seats and you're gonna be like, ah, oh, it's $15.99 a month, well, do I at want least a hot it, butt? At least it's not a blank switch like I find in my Porsche. Yeah, well, we do have one blank switch right here, which you can actually press. That's which, where the exhaust button used to be? Yeah, so now you have to go in through the infotainment for iconic sounds, which is basically your exhaust. Okay, so if I'm in sport mode, how, how do I get to... Uh... Oh, dude, I don't no, remember. No, no, I think I swiped down. I swiped down. Oh, you saved it. Okay, so... Then I'll swipe down Iconic Sound Sport, and okay. this is with it on. Yep. And 
side with it off. So we got crackles and pops at the end of that too. Noticeably less, and I had to use my infotainment screen to t not only turn down the fan, but also turn on the exhaust. Yeah, which iconic sounds is your exhaust button because the exhaust also changed. Hey BMW, turn off iconic sounds. Floor it. Unfortunately, the lighting for the kidney grill cannot be controlled by voice. Man, I'm so what? glad voice uh, to talk is here. I mean, that's the, the lighting for the kidney that's, grill. That's the whole reason we get rid of the uh, the hard buttons is because voice control is so good these days. This but, is sarcasm. Hang on, the M the three series does not even have light up kidney grills in any trim. Look, man, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I'm just driving the car. I didn't build it. Anyways. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna go talk about a little more infotainment stuff since we're here. With this big screen, we do get the cooler updated graphics. I'll give them that, it does look cooler. I don't want the updated graphics, but we got that. We can change the drive modes, the gauge cluster changes, it's cool. We've got um, a swipe down to get to your shortcuts instead of the hard buttons. So I've got my driver quarter there set. I've also got Sirius XM set. I've got my Apple CarPlay and my Iconic Sound set and Guys, we just wanted to give a big shout out to SiriusXM for being with us for the last six months. A big shout out to our sponsors who support us to keep this channel alive. Yeah, it was great the last six months sharing SiriusXM with all of you. And if you still want to try SiriusXM for three months, after today's date, hit up SiriusXM.save.com slash the straight pipes. And I think it should still work. And if it doesn't work, <laughs> just go to the regular site. It should still be there. So big shout out and big shout out for hooking us up, SiriusXM, with some Blink-182 tickets. All right on. When they come to Toronto. <laughs> So that'll be sick. Jake and yeah, I are yeah, going to go yeah. together. We'll send you uh, Instagram videos from there. We're oh, going to document man. the whole concert on our stories. Yes, for sure we will. Travis, yo, shout out. Upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that Molly Crew? I think everybody does it these days. <laughs> Anyways, big thanks, SiriusXM, for being with us the last six months. And then back to our climate through the infotainment. It's not the worst. You click the one button that's always in the bottom middle. Boom. It is not the worst. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so that's nice, even though we both prefer the plug-in. Yeah, just give us the option, BMW. No, it's too late for that. Yeah, I know. You're lucky you still get it for free, bud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How much is that going to cost me next month? $8. $8 to get your check mark. That's the new, uh, oh, yeah. that's the new going rate the, for Elon's uh, Twitter. That's the benchmark for Honestly, I don't even care. We're not even verified on Twitter, so well, it's an easy way to get verified. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Elon. <laughs> You see GM pulled advertising on Twitter until they, uh, they're like, we're temporarily pulling advertising on Twitter until we see the direction that the platform is going. Oh, interesting. Because you're, you're, it's your competitor. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there's also a very large head-up display in this as there is in pretty much every single BMW. And you can set that to reduce and as well. It's like, goes, it's like weird shapes. It's not normal. It's <laughs> yeah. like a spoiler. No, none of the tacks and things in this car are normal. Yeah, but I guess it's good if they can like, come up with that design ahead of everyone else, then in the future, everyone's gonna look like they're copying BMW. Well, and speaking in the future, like there is one tack that removes the RPM numbers, but gives you a percentage like an electric car. Yeah, yeah, hey, I mean, it's a good way to get people like ready for that. It's just, it's crazy seeing how ready they're trying to get everybody. Okay, now I'm going to go to Eco Pro. Uh, am I in drive? And just gonna floor it, okay? I get a nice high gear. Get Let me get down to like a nice uh, 6%. Yeah, see, so you, you have your tack. power now, yeah. That's good power, that's real, that's real good power. It kind of feels like that 48 volt mild hybrid is actually working at that point. Maybe it's because it was in my head and I saw the power percentage. Yeah, I couldn't feel it happening, but it just felt nice. So yo, now your turn to launch it and uh, do all that stuff. Sick. Sick. Sick, not as sick as those Blink-182 concerts gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly show a picture of our Blink-182 face. What's our Blink-182 face? I got a picture of you with like long hair. Oh, so, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> High school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Launch control. That's good. Those shifts are so hard in launch control. Good thing it's all wheel drive. Yes, X drive is fantastic. It is rear biased. We have that same BMW feeling from the previous generation, which we really liked. And like I said earlier, the only real criticism I have in terms of driving dynamics is that the suspension is a touch too harsh. Does it, but, does it feel as skitty skitty as it used to? Not really. That's what I'm, I'm like in my head. I'm like, eh, this mild hybrid system is screwing up my vibe. <laughs> I don't think it's that. I think it's the actual traction. I think they kind of dialed down the baseline for 
um, uh, what's it called? The middle traction setting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because before it was MDM, I think, or no, you only get that on M models. Anyways, the ba the middle traction, I feel like, has been dumbed down where it intervenes a little sooner, so I feel like I actually have to drive this car with traction off. And the next thing that I don't like about that part is that if you press or hold the traction physical button, nothing happens. It just enables you to then press a menu option on the screen. You have to go through the screen to then change your traction. At least DSC off is still not a cost option. Yeah, yeah. Who we knows? Know well, who knows if it's really, really off. Uh, let's send it through cliche corner and yeah, still definitely rear bias, still really fun to drive. This is, it's just missing those adaptive dampers, just that little extra edge. And yeah, you could still get the back end but around. But not, not as much as like, Yeah. I feel like they, they toned it down since that sweet one we drove in Portugal. Yeah, I think they toned down the whole car really. Like Maybe they realized they could because maybe the first, that was before they introduced all the new M3s and M4s. Yeah, so yeah. They had some excitement as dial backs. So I feel like we keep trying to subliminally sell you on the previous non-upgraded M340i. And if you're looking for one new one or the old one, tsp.truecar.com. Discounted price offers. Uh, I would still highly recommend purchasing this one, but I actually would recommend purchasing the previous yeah, generation over this one. 100%. And it looks better, inside's better. We still got more to talk about, but like... Uh, yeah, uh, like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's cool, this has uh, ambient lighting. Yes. <laughs> How much did you pay for that? I don't know. <laughs> let, me, let me check the spec sheet. Uh, I, put, I put it in the glove box. Hey, BMW, ambient light purple. Oh, okay. I mean, it took me to the screen. It didn't actually change the color. Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't send me to Alabama. Yeah, exactly. Well, one of the BMWs did that to me this morning. I like, <laughs> asked for a radio station. <laughs> and another thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the steering. I feel like it's just artificially really heavy. They just kind of had to do that to make you feel like you're in a really sporty car. I feel like the M550 is the perfect middle ground BMW where you still get a lot of sportiness but still comfort and everything inside and everything. It's just, it's a really good car. Whereas I felt like the previous gen of this was kind of the same, but in this new generation, I don't feel like that about this new M340i. By the time you're buying an M550i, they're not messing with you. But when you're buying an M340i, they'll still mess with you a bit at the dealership. Yes. And, you're, and the, the car you'll get. Like, exactly. Oh, yeah, the, the heavi steering and race car. And yeah. my M55i is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The M550i, and I think all new BMWs of the M Sport variety uh, get like the split exhaust tips. This one has the older, just wide opening exhaust tips, which I'm not a big fan of. Let's listen to it from the outside. Still sounds good, still an inline six. It's uh, B58, everybody loves it. It's pretty good. Uh, in here, so we still have our iconic sounds. I'm gonna turn them back on. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, pump it in, baby, pump it in. Brakes are good. Brakes are good. Early days. Oh, turbo brakes, much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> but back to these seats briefly, I don't find them that comfortable, even with the, all the lumbar adjustments. Like, I just can't get that comfortable. It's like when you have that feeling in many other cars, I don't, I can't get comfortable in these seats. Yeah, I'm all right with these. I've tried to dial down everything, like just open it up, and I, I just can't get that comfortable. How about the back seats? Is there room for your tall ass? <laughs> my tall ass, yes. My tall legs, not so much. It's it's decent, but my head does touch the roof. Okay, we got a trunk. There's a good amount of trunk room. Yeah. Nothing to complain about there. Hey, a little sunroof, that's cool. Yeah, generally looks wise, it does look pretty decent. Not as good as the previous generation. Not, nope, not in my opinion. But and these my wheels, opinion is not everyone's opinion. These wheels? They're all right. Yeah, they're just all right. Not memorable e at all. Exactly. I feel like they should have just sized them one size but, up. But you know what would be memorable? The Continental some, Recommended Tire. Yeah, yeah. And some Viking Contact 7s for winter. What's the Continental Recommended Tire for the M340i? The Extreme Contact Sport for the Summer. Let us know which Continental Winter Tires you got in the comments below. If you didn't get Continental Winter Tires, don't write anything. And... And this ZF 8-speed transmission shifts nice and smoothly. It's just like every other BMW except the M4 CSL, where they tune the hell out of that transmission, which is the same one. Review coming soon. And there's no real gloss black in here. There's like a little bit around the climate vents, which that's about it, which is really nice. It's not on the steering wheel, but on the steering wheel, we do have all our lane keeping stuff, which is really cool. Yeah, and it can automatically lane change for you. And look, they didn't even put this into the infotainment for the heated steering wheel. So no, yeah, that not, is... Not until they mid-cycle refresh the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah. 
It's going to be screens on the steering wheel like the new 7 Series or whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, and then uh, visor test. Yes. Three, two, one. Oh! It goes, but a little bit. That's uh, That's still a full pass. I feel like BMWs it usually slides. fail. No. I don't remember. Fits cups just fine in front of the shifter. Now you don't have to get it around the shifter because there is no shifter. That's that's pretty good. And our USB port is right by our cups and they are it's water it resistant, we were told. Theoretical, yes. Do you like the color of this interior? Yeah, what is it? I don't know. Cognac. No, Cognac was the Supra. And it's a BMW. So that's Wine. Wine. This is wine lips. Wine lips. Wine lips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, with all that out of the way, I think it's time we get the price. Uh, it starts at a reasonable price, $66,000. Canadian. With nickel and diming, $78,345. Don't call it nickel and diming. That's just like options. It is, though. That's it's just, like, BMW charges for options. They do, but I still can't get cooled seats that you can get in like a Genesis G70. Yeah, but that's what those brands have to offer to compete with the kings of BMW and Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, driving dynamics-wise, this is still my favorite, regardless of the suspension. This still drives incredibly well. Yeah, I would suggest, if you're looking at the M340i, go with the non-updated version. Yes. I like that one just a little bit more. Looks-wise, driving-wise, and infotainment-wise. I would as well. I feel like none of the improvements that they made are actually that good. Yes, no offense, BMW. <laughs> All right, let us know what you think of the new M340i. Uh, what are you taking it over? Yeah, let us know. I still really like it, by the way. <laughs> and don't forget, get that SiriusXM three free month trial. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel, guys. Thank you so much, SiriusXM, and thank you all for subscribing and liking and leaving comments and everything else that you guys do for us. Thumbs up. Why is the like button?